I was going to wait and, and do this video later. I was going to fix my hair, put on my makeup, put on something other than a big t-shirt, and not be in a parking lot. <laughs> my heart is so full right now. I am so moved. I am so blessed. I am so grateful. I am so proud of our team. This is not going to be published. <sighs> okay. It's payday. Okay. And I know you're probably like, Heather, get off of here. What are you talking about? If you can figure out what it is you're supposed to be doing, the sooner you are able to get about the business of doing that. The way through the challenge is to get still and ask yourself, what is the next right move? Not think about, oh, I got all of this stuff. What is the next right move? And then from that space, make the next right move and the next right move. And not to be overwhelmed by it because you know your life is bigger than that one moment. You know you're not defined by what somebody says is a failure for you because failure is just there to point you in a different direction. I've learned to appreciate living in the moment. And this is real. This is more than like, let's put on some lipstick and let's say all the, the like the, <laughs> the polished words this is like impact people's literal family this is like pay bills this is like allow a mom to have more time with her kids this is like pay off the debt this is like oh man Not I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks nothing Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now, I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. Mm -mm. It was double what I thought it was going to be. Like there was a comma in it. That's how big it was. And I kind of thought there was going to be a comma in it. But I was like, mm, maybe not. Maybe close to a comma. Hey, Cheryl. But no, there's a legit comma. So I was just sitting there and I was like, wow, that's, <laughs> hey, Chrissy, that's a lot of money. So I sat there and I calculated, hey, Sarah, and I quadrupled what I made last month. Between me, our team, rocking it out, quadrupled. Thank you, Sarah. Hey, Erica. So to put that in perspective, I work full time as a dental assistant. And what I made in one month from pharmacy working like evenings and weekends and like whenever I had spare time, I made the exact amount that I make working full time at my other job. Like, I could just not work next month and have my bills covered and not even worry about it. You guys. That's a really big deal. Hey, okay? Single mom. Okay? I don't really get any help. I rarely get any child support. So, everything comes from me. And the fact that, you know, like, holidays are coming. I need new tires on my car. I need four new tires because they be bald bald as my dad's head um you know I I have so many things I have on a list of like what I needed to get done and I can actually get it done and not have to worry about budgeting or what bills I can afford to get my tires done if I'm going to fall I don't want to fall back on anything I want to fall forward I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit Without consistency, you'll never finish. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances. 
Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots. And you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. Because you shared your story, I'm going to try blank. I also want to try real estate. I also want to have more time with my family. I also want to have an additional stream of income. I'm going to go ahead and start that business I've been thinking about. I do think I'm in a toxic relationship and I need to get out of it and I do need to start taking actions. Yeah, yeah, noted. I always wonder why birds stay in the same place when they can fly anywhere on earth. And then I ask myself the same question. As Mark Twain put it, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. And that's where people get stuck. You're literally like the bird. You could fly anywhere you want. You can go anywhere you want to go. And look, I know you've got a litany of excuses and all of them are valid. You've got a job you can't just leave or you don't have a job and you don't have the money. Okay, so this is September, right? In August, August 1st, I, I left I left my last company that I spent three years of my life pouring into. Three years of my life pouring into it. I worked really hard. You guys know that, right? <laughs> Unless you're brand new to my Facebook page. And I was, I was scared, a little nervous, didn't know what was gonna happen. Um, but you know, I follow God in everything. And he was like, move. You know, he gave me that just gut feeling and in my heart, I wasn't happy. I was not happy. Um, and I, I told you all, I can't fake things. <laughs> I can't fake it. And if I can't see opportunity anywhere, I'm not gonna stay. I don't care how good the community is um, or how much I love my team. If I don't see opportunity there for people that I am leading, mentoring, and see opportunity anymore for myself, I will not stay. You can figure out what it is you're supposed to be doing. The sooner you are able to get about the business of doing that. The way through the challenge is to get still and ask yourself, what is the next right move? Not think about, oh, I got all of this stuff. What is the next right move? And then I won't stay and keep bearing. I won't. And so I found pharmacy and I ran with it from day one. Learning that I could specifically determine for myself what the boundaries were for me. What I wanted to do, give my money, give my time, give of my service to who I wanted to give it to when I did, that I get to make that decision. And just because you get 100 requests a week doesn't mean you have to try to fulfill all of that. Just because you have all of these demands on your time and on you doesn't mean that you have to say yes. You get to decide because you're the master of your fate, the captain of your soul, as William Ernest Henley said in Invictus. And understanding that really changed the meaning of my life in that I was not no longer driven by what and other people wanted just, me to do. Our, our commissions, we get paid once a month here, and our commissions were just posted this morning. Yeah. And I kind of had an idea, you know, what my pay might be like. And I went and looked. And it is four times, five times, five times what my last check was with my last company with far less people far less volume but what is really the icing on the cake is one of my leaders is she on, jamie are you on here is is someone who was with me at my previous company she was the first one to join me here at pharmacy. She she trusted me. She took a, you know, she took a gamble. I guess we'll say that. 
<clears throat> and she hit director last month. She um, was a teacher. She also was a nanny. She was let go from her nannying, is that a word, her nannying job last month. And she messaged me and was like, what, what, what am I going to do? She's like freaking out. She's like, what the heck am I going to do? And I, and I was like, work your business, run with it this month. And she got paid this morning. And not only did it go way over what she gets for nannying, she matched her full-time teaching salary income. 30 days at pharmacy. That was the icing on the cake. When she was like, oh my gosh, like. And it was over double her biggest check ever from her last company. I think numbers are very important to talk about. A lot of people don't like to talk about them, but numbers are facts. They are factual evidence. And when I have someone who matched their full-time teaching salary in 30 days. Life is about decisions. And the decision is that you will use your life in service. You will be in service to life and you will speak up you will show up, you will stand up, you will sit in, you will volunteer, you will vote, you will shout out, you will help, you will lend a hand, you will offer your talent and your kindness however you can, and you will radically transform whatever moment you're in, which leads to bigger moments. Because the truth is, success is, it's, it's a process. You can ask anybody who's been successful, and so service is not just about when you're getting served, it's truly everything. So I started to ask the question, how can I use this show to not just be a show, but to allow it to be a service to the viewer? It doesn't matter if you have a degree or if you don't have a degree. What matters is your mindset. That's what matters. And the other thing that really matters is ignoring all the self-doubt. We are our own worst critic when it comes to not knowing if we can do something. We, we are immediately the ones that put ourselves down. If you have been feeling stuck for a long time and you're just like, I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of being stuck. You are the one that has to change that. Nobody else can change that for you. If you have been feeling down and you're just like in a funk, you're the only one that can change that. Your means have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And that's just real. At the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. You know, some, something as simple as food and eating, it's not about your, your body as much as it is about your mind. It's getting command of your mind to be able to choose actions that are in your own best interest. Every day we are choosing shit that's not in our own best interest. Right. So if the world is attacking you and the world wants to fight you and the world's trying to hold you down, so you're going to kick yourself in the balls, so you're going to stop yourself from getting what you dream. Self-discipline is the center of all material success. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. Hugely important to me to maintain a certain energy. It's like it, it's it's healing. It's loving. It's kind. And um, I learned really young that my energy was uh, infectious. Yeah. Right. So when you know I come into the studio, when I long after I leave, the energy that I bring is still going to be here, and then people are going to take it home, and they're going to affect their families with it. So you know, for me, it's hugely important to maintain just positive loving energy just You're as I gave up $35,000 a month if nobody believes me I will show you all of my freaking um, paychecks for all of 2018 I'll show you them 
I gave up $35,000 because I felt in my heart I needed to do what was right. And because of that, and because God knows my heart, I don't care what anybody thinks, God knows my heart, okay? And because of that, he shows up and shows out every single time because when I'm not around and people are talking, he hears it. He hears it. So I don't need to know what's, what's going on behind the scenes. He, he knows. And guess what? He guides me. And even when he has to reveal people, because 2019 has been the year of God's big reveal. And it has hurt. And it has pushed me down. And it has made me feel less than. But every single time I get back up, and I go harder than I ever did before because as long as I have him on my side, I can move any freaking mountain that anybody puts in front of me. Any mountain. You can put me down. You can drag my name through the mud. You can do whatever you want. But I am going to show up every single day. I'm going to change lives. And I'm, never, I'm not going home. I'm, I'm here to stay.